disturbing allegations against a school bus aide. Police say surveillance video shows the 72-year-old choking a six-year-old boy with special needs for several seconds. Our Jennifer Lee is live in Montgomery Township with reaction from the community. Jen. Well, Sheba, this is the intersection where the school bus was turning when that alleged choking incident happened. According to the criminal complaint, the victim's father says his son arrived at home very visibly distressed and his neck was red and the back of his neck had scratches. The North Penn School District says MacArthur Wilson was a substitute van assistant hired in October 2022, only working a total of 10 days in the transportation department before he resigned after allegedly choking a student with special needs. We stopped by the 72 year old's home in Lansdale, but did not get a chance to meet him. Hello, um, is Mr. MacArthur Wilson here? We had some questions for him regarding the charges that he is facing. According to the criminal complaint, Montgomery Township Police obtained school bus surveillance footage from October 16th, showing Wilson struggling to get the student with special needs to let go of a seatbelt. Wilson is heard telling the boy, quote, do you want me to choke you out three times, then puts his left hand on the victim's neck area for seven seconds. We stopped by American Star Diner in North Wales, where locals were appalled by the allegations. And we have grandchildren that use the North Penn School District school buses. So to think that is happening, yeah, a little scary. My opinion should be behind bars, putting their hands on a kid. A six-year-old child, you have to be out of your mind to do that. I mean, that's like a baby in my eyes. Wilson faces several charges, including strangulation, but he is out on a $5,000 unsecured bail, which means he didn't have to post any money. See, that right there is wrong. I'm sorry, that is absolutely wrong. In a statement, North Penn School says their priority is student safety, saying, quote, when the alleged act occurred, the bus driver intervened immediately and then reported the matter to NPSD administration. Parents and the authorities were contacted immediately. The bus assistant involved was also contacted that day, and he resigned immediately. I feel for the family, and it's going to be tough for the family and that child to deal with this now and the other children that were on the bus. I spoke briefly with the boy's parents over the phone. They say their son is doing better. They appreciate the support that has been shown from the school district, police, and the bus driver, and say so far their case is being handled with care. The family is asking for privacy at this time. Live in Montgomery Township, Jennifer Lee, Sheba and Jason, back to you. 